Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you some techniques on how to create detail on a plushie without using an embroidery machine. Please consider checking out my Patreon. I hold a monthly giveaway and I post all my patterning works in progress. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. The simplest way to add detail is to draw it on. The easiest fabric to do this with would probably be cotton fabric. I placed a folded piece of paper under the fabric so that I didn't mark my desk. And I'm using a fine tip permanent marker. A fabric pen would have been preferred, however this was all I had on hand. On cotton fabric it's pretty simple just to draw on your design. You might get a small amount of bleeding, but nothing major as you can see. When drawing on your fabric you're limited to going darker than the fabric that you're using. However, you could also consider using fabric paints. You can use these techniques for any detail that you want to add to a plush or a craft project. It is however possible that the marker might wash out over time, and it doesn't look overly professional so this isn't a technique that I would use on plushies that I plan to sell. For these drawings I just started drawing random things. If you wanted something in particular, I'd recommend printing out your design and sitting it underneath your fabric. Minky is a little bit more tricky to draw your design onto, as you can pretty much only draw in one direction. The third fabric I decided to test was felt. The texture of the fabric is tricky, so I had to do it in small little strokes and dabs of the pen, as the fibres of the felt would get caught to the tip of the pen. Here's a comparison of the three fabrics. The cotton doesn't smudge at all. The minky I was a bit more concerned about since it's a synthetic. However, it didn't smudge and neither did the felt. One thing I'd like to point out is the direction of the fur on the minky affects the look of your design. You might also notice that due to it being a synthetic, some of the marker came off on my nail. Next up I'll show you some sewing techniques. I've taken a piece of minky and a piece of cutaway stabilizer and I'm just using normal craft glue sticks to glue the minky to the stabilizer. I left this to dry for about 5 minutes with some weight on it. For the eye design I just drew up something random. I'm going to use black, white and purple felt to create this eye.
When sewing your felt pieces together, you can do this in any order. I used a straight stitch to sew the collar onto the one below. I didn't change the colour of thread, partially because I'm lazy, but also because I wanted you to see the difference using the same colour thread can make. The sew line is hardly obvious and it looks much cleaner and more professional. I went off screen there a little bit, I'm sorry. All I did was use the glue stick to temporarily stick the eye to the fabric. First I did a simple running stitch around the eye to hold it down. Then I changed to a wide but short zigzag stitch. I'm using a 3mm wide and 0.8 stitch length. This satin stitch around the edge helps to make it look more professional and similar to something that an embroidery machine might create. For this part, I just grabbed a random piece of fabric to test sew around. You can absolutely use any kind of fabric for applique, and it's great for creating different visual effects. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see some more crafting videos, please consider subscribing. Thanks again, and good luck!